program. OK, our next question from Phoebe. Phoebe teases ah, you again. Right. With the public accounts inquiry finding that only 10% of the assigned levy and up funds has been spent across the country, does this government really have the ambition to level up the north? Right. So, lots of you asked about levelling up. And what you're referring to, Phoebe, is um, a report by the Pub Parliamentary Accounts yeah. Committee this week, early this week, that said that £10.5 has been allocated by the government for levelling up. There are three different funds, but broadly for levelling up. Mm -hmm. Since 2021, only 10% of it has actually been spent by local authorities. I'm surprised you believed Boris Johnson when he said he was going to level up. I mean, it, it never seemed to be remotely likely. It seemed to be one of those things which Boris says and then forgets about the day after. Um, and the, the problem, I think, is that this area, which I know very well and live in, uh, is still suffering from the desolation which Margaret Thatcher yeah. reached, wreaked upon it in the 1980s. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we have, we have those... 13 years of government where the North was neglected and the North East particularly and now we've had another rate um, under the Conservatives and the, the problem is that what levelling up requires is two things imagination which the Conservative Party doesn't have and secondly money which it doesn't want to spend and it really does need money. It needs big investment because you you think of yourself as a businessman who is coming to Teesside to possibly invest in a, in a firm somewhere in, somewhere in the Teesside area and you get off the train at Darlow and you get onto this creature of a train which seems to have been built in Czechoslovakia in 1953 <laughs> and you trawl at nine miles an hour through a desolated wasteland. And you think, what the hell am I coming here for? <laughs> and, and it's not just that. It's also we've had a low-wage economy. That is vital. We have had a low-wage yeah. economy. We used to have great income coming into people's pockets from the steel industry, yeah. from ICI. Those were, those were industries which actually provided people with a decent, way of, uh, decent uh, uh, standard of living, a decent way of life. And I know, because I've spoken to lots of the regular steel workers who, who lost their jobs when Labour, Labour closed the steelworks. Um, so let's not forget that. Uh, and, and their problem was they were going from really well-paid jobs where they had mortgages and decent houses on the Lakes Estate and in Redka itself and so on. Uh, they went to jobs which were cold calling uh, and working in warehouses. Maybe if they were really lucky, driving a bus. And, you know, you cannot compensate for those low wages. Uh, then on the imaginative side of things, the thing about imagination and what we need for this country, and Tim was absolutely right when he talked about the railways, is we need a, a metropolitan light railway system which links Middlesbrough with all the rest of Teesside and links us with Newcastle as well. Annoying though the Geordies can be, I accept. <laughs> um, so we... And that requires planning across loads of different departments, planning across loads of different areas, and we need that done to attract the sort of people who will bring into this area jobs which pay a decent wage, and without that, we'll be nowhere. Yeah. But don't believe Boris again, whatever you do. 